welcome back to Big Balls Fantasy Football. There is always that point in your fantasy football draft when someone makes a pick that's even too weird to be a sleeper pick. Isn't that right, Greg? Oh, God. Is there ever? Someone that makes everyone start scanning their cheat sheets and saying, who the heck is that guy? So joining us this week in the Big Balls Fantasy Football Fan Cave from Texas is our Lone Star correspondent. Many of you will recognize him from our podcast, Cash Con. Welcome to the visual world. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so, tremendous to be here. Uh, as you know, I'm a 35-year veteran of pro sports and uh, five-year fantasy football. Um, it's great to be here, for, so thank you for having me. Awesome. So you love Dallas because you're down there in Texas, right? Well, I like the heat, guys, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I occasionally root for the uh, Dallas Cowboys, but I'm a Chicago transplant in Lone Star State. Um, as well as a diehard Chicago Bears fan. So how was it when you went a year ago on a wonderful Monday night when the Bears kicked the living crap out of Dallas on Monday night? You were up on the party level. Tell us about that. What a tremendous experience. A lot of people watching. Uh, but the best was really watching, seeing uh, the Bears hit the end zone and uh, the sacks, uh, you know, the, uh, the interception returns. Um, it, it was... Um, um, it was unforgettable, you know, unforgettable moment. I bet, I bet. I'm so jealous that I wasn't there. So why don't you give us your three picks that people might not be counting on, but they sure as hell can bank on. Give it to us, Cash. Sure. Well, you know, this is cash time. So uh, we all know what a, what a checkbook is. Well, uh, this is my cash book that holds the secret to this year's fantasy sleepers. And, and these are three picks that you can take it to the bank. First up, Dexter McCluster, wide receiver, Kansas City Chiefs. Last year, he had about 52 catches, 450 plus yards, only one TD. But in 2013, I believe he'll be up to about 75 catches, maybe 800 yards, about six touchdowns. And here is why I believe he'll he'll do that. Uh, this is the New Year, Andy Reid, the West Coast offense. Alex Smith being in the picture, I think you'll see a lot of screens. This is a guy who excels in running after catching, and he will make people miss. He will also return punts. And remember, this time he's going to be guided by Dave Taub, who also coached Devin Hester. Now, remember this. It's great insurance in case there's an injury to Jamal Charles. And you know, just recently, he's nursing a mild foot sprain. Greg, what do you think of McCluster? Oh, I think I think he's great, and I think it's a great choice. And it's funny because in the kit that I got for the draft for tomorrow, they of course always list him as wide receiver and running back because he is just a versatile guy, and nobody ever really knows where to plug him in. So great pick there. Let's get the second one. Thanks, Greg. Now next up is Zach Sudfeld. Yes, you've heard it tight end of the Patriots. Now, last year, he was at Nevada, caught about 45 passes, 600 yards, average about 13 yards per catch, eight touchdowns, though. 2013, first year up with the Pats, I think he'll catch about 48 passes, 500 yards, and five TDs. Now, any of you are thinking, why do I pick somebody like that? Well, here's the thing. This guy's a superior blocker, I believe, and better blocker than any of the current tight ends. He will see a lot of snaps. In fact, last weekend, he was in 34 of 72 offensive snaps against Philadelphia. He is six foot seven, 260 pounds, excellent red zone target. He's not an ordinary rookie. In fact, he's the same age as Rob Gronkowski. <laughs> and remember one more thing, um, they won't have Aaron Hernandez this year or, or very possibly for decades to come. Jen Lee. Can you give it up for Zach? What do you think? You know, I like that pick, Cash, because I've been doing some of my research, and, you know, they're saying that he's doing really good in camp. A lot of balls are being thrown his way, and he's taking Gronk's place since Gronk is going to be out, we know, six games. At least, at least. At least. And so, you know, uh, even if Gronk comes back, he might fill into that two tight end system that the Patriots love to do. I like it. Give us the Thank next you. one, Cash. Thank you. And as a note on that, too, remember, uh, Brady has a way of finding people, you know, off the radar. 
Oh, so yeah. uh, last one, last but not least, is Elshon Jeffrey of my Chicago Bears. 2012, his freshman year, he caught 24 passes, about 370 yards, averaged about 15 yards, only three touchdowns. In, in this upcoming year, I believe he'll go up to about 55 catches, about 800 yards, and six TDs. And here's why I think that. He was injured all of last year, nursing a knee and thumb injuries that limited him to only about 10 games. But four out of those 24 catches, they were for 30-plus yards. He also spent the offseason training with Brandon Marshall, who felt Alshon was a little bit soft last year, but he has now matured and strengthened. And remember, this is the last year of Jay Cutler's contract. I'm betting he'll have a big year, meaning Jay. And if he does, Alshon will have a lot to do with it. You guys, what do you think? Can you bank on Alshon? I think you can definitely bank on Alshon. You have the two Bennetts. You have Brandon Marshall, of course, and Johnny Knox was there last year, but of course we watched him almost get broken in half live at the Bears bar, yep. <laughs> which is horrible. Alshon was injured a lot of the season too, but he's going to take that Johnny Knox slot and he's going to get a lot of points and a lot of PPR. That's what I think. Yeah, I think he just, you know, he really has to stay healthy and he's got to run the right routes because of the new offense this year, it's a West Coast system. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a, a lot of a lot of stuff to do in that offense. So I just think that he's got to mm -hmm. focus on the routes. And but he's a ballsy pick, and I think if you get him late, he might be a good one. Well, thanks. No Thank you, Cash. Those three were really out of the box picks that I think everybody can bank on. You got to come back in a few weeks to give give us your picks for the draft roundup. So we'll have even more picks that will kind of be lower in the draft but that people can definitely get some points out of. You gonna come back for us? <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure, you guys. I look forward to be back on the show. Thank you. All right. Bye, Cash. Bye, Cash. Thanks for being on. Tune into the stream.tv next week. We're gonna continue our pre-draft shows. Next week, the positions are gonna be kickers, tight ends, and of course, defenses. So. Everybody make sure you tune in because you're going to need them in the last rounds of your draft when you're just hanging on. Three.